Well, the Boulevard has a new tenant. Galaxy Theaters is joining a growing list of entertainment businesses at the shopping center. It's located near Desert Inn and Maryland Parkway, and that's where 8 News Now reporter Karen Castro is live with a closer look at how malls are reinventing themselves. Karen? Yeah, that's right, Brian and Christy Ann. Like many retail centers around the valley, really, the boulevard is no longer just about shopping. In fact, as we show you around here, we're inside the new Galaxy Theaters, and it's just the latest entertainment attraction moving in. The boulevard looks a lot different than it did just a few years ago. It was nice. It was really nice back then. I mean, all of your major department stores were still here at that time. There are no major retailers left. Sears was the last one to shut its doors. All that's left are smaller shops. A lot of businesses have left, like closed up shop and, and just left. At a time when e-commerce is changing the shopping experience from in-person to online, shopping centers like the Boulevard are finding ways to keep customers coming. It dropped the word mall from its name a few years back. Well, it's not a mall anymore. It's a mixed-use property, and it's focused on entertainment, services. Of course, retail will always be a component. More and more, the Boulevard is becoming an entertainment complex with fun for the entire family. Among the growing list of attractions are the Game Center, Heads Up, and of course, the Sequest Interactive Aquarium. Other entertainment includes train rides and a magic show, and that's not all. They've even welcomed call centers. And call centers have absolutely thrived here with employee recruitment. Uh, employee satisfaction is obviously going to be at an all-time high with the opening of Galaxy Theaters and with all the amenities we've got here in the mall. The latest newcomer is this state-of-the-art movie theater. Uh, they're the best. The, the Luxury Galaxy is my family and, and myself. It's our favorite theater. It's really nice. <laughs> All right, back out here live. Look at this. Christiane and Brian, they have all the taps ready to go for tonight's ribbon cutting ceremony coming up at 6.15. The grand opening is tomorrow morning. We'll show you around coming up tonight at 6. Reporting live, Karen Castro, 8 News Now. Oh, that yeah, looks good. It's making nice. us hungry already. Karen should volunteer to taste test as long as she's there. Yeah. Good Be an idea. idea. Let me now let me tell you folks, if you haven't been to a galaxy, you, you get your beer, you get your snack, and those yeah. seats, when fully reclined, they're nap inducing. Uh -oh. You have to be you have to be really They're into so the comfy. movie. They're it's so comfy. Comfortable. You need to have your coffee before you go to the movies. Yeah, I've done that because otherwise yeah. you might doze. Yeah. <laughs> here's here's the best part. That's just down the street. So. Maybe we can go on our break. I know, like a dinner break? No. It's a long dinner, though. <laughs> we don't get that much time. <laughs> you can't see the new Avengers uh, movie no, when that no, comes no. out. Yeah, it's like three definitely hours. Definitely not the Avengers movie, no. and definitely not the comeback of Dances with yeah. Wolves. That would definitely like, not be. Uh, we need Ted for the 11. To, he's still. <laughs> he's got his IFB on. Let's go. Gone he's with a, the wind. That'd be great. Just bring that one back. <laughs>